Hello, and welcome to another Bridging the Gap with Word and Deed, where we connect you to the front lines. My name is Scott DeCourt, and today we'll be looking at three things. We'll be looking at our partner in South Sudan and the work that's going on there. Then we'll be hearing from Rick Postma, the Director of Public Relations, on how COVID is affecting Word and Deed uh, with our partners worldwide, but also with those in North America. Finally, we'll be looking at what policy day is for Word and Deed, and Scott Koopman will be filling us in on the details. First, let's visit South Sudan and Kush for Christ, a partner there that we've been able to work alongside of uh, to build and help grow a school. And we'll hear from Scott Brinkerhoff a little bit more on what their mission and their vision is for that school. Our team is called Push for Christ, and we're here to help uh, establish gospel-centered churches uh, committed to the Reformed tradition. And with that, it means uh, training children, um, because we believe uh, that children are part of the covenant, but uh, we want to train up the children of the church to know Christ and to know Him as their, their Lord as well in all things. So, um, well, eight years ago we started a Christian school and uh, we're teaching students uh, about Christ and His world, but we're also training young people uh, to be teachers themselves. Our older students are teachers for the younger students. And that, that occupies us uh, uh, all day, every day. And it's a, it's a, it's a blessing to, to, be, uh, to have the partnership of Word and Deed. We're so happy for the, the help that uh, Word and Deed has been to us in our work here. So Word and Deed has had the privilege of coming alongside and building these two buildings that we see here that provide a great place for students to study and to do their schoolwork. Now we'll be hearing from Rick Postma about an update on COVID. The United Nations is now reporting that the world is facing its worst food-related crisis in over 50 years. And we certainly see that imp seeing that impact with our partners. We're now providing food relief funding to partners in 13 countries. Most of it's COVID-related, but there's also been flooding in several countries in Africa, Kenya, and Uganda and we've now sent uh, several hundred thousand dollars in food relief around the world. If you're able to support our actions in this regard, our funding, that would be gratefully received. If you could designate it as being for food relief or where most urgently needed, as we also try to keep a number of programs running, given decreased funding, that would be wonderful. If you've already given us a donation, we uh, thank you very much for your partnership. Back to you, Scott. And now we'll hear from Scott Koopman on Policy Day. Hello everyone, my name is Scott Koopman. I work as the administrator in our Canadian office for Word and Deed. Every year around this time, our board and staff from Canada and the US gather together for our annual meetings, which we call Policy Day. Usually this takes place in person and is a very important time for us to discuss strategy. This year in the Lord's Providence, we weren't able to meet together in person, but we were able to meet via Zoom last week for a great day of meetings. We started the day with a meditation from Dr. Arian de Visser, who pointed us to the Lord as our source of comfort and encouraged us to not grow weary in doing good. We discussed the impact that COVID-19 is having on our partners and also how to communicate well with you, our supporters. Our board approved an additional $200,000 of COVID-19 relief. We're very thankful for the gifts that the Lord has given our board and staff. We pray that he would continue to give us wisdom in all that we do. Thank you. Thank you, Scott Koopman, for that update on what happens at Policy Day with Word and Deed. I want to bring your attention to our new YouTube channel. You can find it in the link in the description, or you can find it by searching Word and Deed Ministries on YouTube. So go check that out. Also, we encourage you to keep your eyes and ears out for our uh, summer digital magazine, which is coming to you soon. Finally, Keep an eye out for our events that have been moved from the spring to the fall, namely the bike-a-thon and the Adoration Color Run as well. 
Thank you so much for staying up to date with Bridging the Gap and for your ongoing prayers and support.